What's up everyone? This is Prashad Javiswas and thank for coming into my slog number three. In this slog, I would like to talk more about a video that I recently saw and that would be uh, like the topic for PNP podcast number three and that is post-truth. Uh, after uh, like heard about uh, post-truth from Veritasium's video, we all know where who Veritasium is. Uh, I was really excited to learn about that thing, and I readily searched about it, and I came to know that it was a word of the year uh, given by Oxford Dictionary. So the word of the year for 2016 is post truth, uh, which is a great achievement, I would say, uh, for post truth being a word which half of Indians had never heard of, but post truth. Uh, came out as a more uh, important word like in uh, 2000 a 2000% 2000 increase in the word from early years just because of like uh, what we say um, just because of something uh, that happened in these two last months and uh, that was what do you say like U.S. elections and our EU referendum. So, what does science have to do with post-truth? Now, it is only science that leads to this post-truth analysis. Like, if you, if you, you get the description to the attachment video in the link down. And he, he just emphasized on the point that post-truth is uh, something you need to analyze on. Right? Because post-truth is nothing. It's, just, it's not a word. It has to have some meaning. And 1992, when Steve Cheeks, an uh, Armenian writer, first used this article to express the 1992 world or the future world as a post-truth world, uh, it was meant to be something, right? It had to be something. And that is what it's all about. That's what it's about. So what actually in this log, I was, I was thinking about that. Like, he told us that uh, if Google has a post-truth analysis structure, Google, what Google does is it does not uh, allow any spam websites to come up. So, if that can happen, then what, why can't it happen to us? Like, can't we do the same thing? Like, can't, uh, like, normal Indians or normal people or normal social networking media, social uh, networking sites can do it? The social media network is so strong, then what the fake news that comes up is due to the social media network. So why can't it happen? So if there is a post truth analysis, then it can be easily done and it should be done. And just I've been researching about that and, and I just came about where uh, how Google uh, can tackle all these things. Like it, it is a cubersome job to do so. But if a machine can do it, if not in, uh, humans can do it, then it, it's, a, it's a very good job. And uh, so half of these are days are like going like this uh, uploaded around 15 videos in the last vlog like, um, so around uploaded around 15 videos and uploaded two science vacation videos which was a really great experience for me I got to learn a lot of things and I'm trying to improve on my science vacation videos uh, and I'll, I'll continue to improve on that so just I just want your all uh your contributions to me like what else you want is science education video because i'm thinking like i have a uh, we all like the people here on this website are thinking about uh, going for a science education video on time problems like space time uh, space time theories and stuff like that so if you want to go into that um, we will go into that because that's a very interesting very very interesting subject and i really really like that subject and i just wanted to go through that thing so so this vlog is like a little um, drowsy kind of a vlog. The last one I got a good replies on it. Like a lot of people saw that. Got a good replies on it. Somebody just told me that there was a lot, a lot of more confidence in you. But I had to give them a reason for that. Uh, and all I would like to say that uh, this kind of uh, sphere of science, including the post truth analysis and communicational analysis, is uh, it's, it's, it's a little weird. But... You know, understand that what humans can't do, what is cubism to humans, is very easy for machines. 
and if post truth analysis can be done it could be through do machines and uh, yes post truth is great because fake news is coming up like heavily in this country uh, heavily in this world especially so post truth is required it is it is not uh, a thing that you normally get to have uh, so that's it and just just a update blog you can think of not much of anything like i just wanted to give you a small reason of what is going to happen in the second pnp podcast be i get high with pnp podcast i'm going to talk about the post to that it's got a 15 minutes long podcast uh we're going to talk about post truth and how we're going to design the algorithm pnp mathematics is one that we can do it i know we can do it so see you guys i'll see you in the next blog